Debt is a bipartisan problem. Debt is a problem both parties bear substantial responsibility for. To understand just how true that is, we need to look back just 21 years. In the year 2000, our national debt stood at roughly $5 trillion. $5 trillion is the total amount we owed. In 2001, George W. Bush became president. During the eight years of Bush's presidency, the debt doubled from $5 trillion to $10 trillion. Then in 2008, Barack Obama was elected president. And over the next eight years, the debt doubled again from $10 trillion to $20 trillion. I want you to pause and reflect on that. The $5 trillion debt that we started the 21st century with had been accumulated by 42 presidents over two centuries. And then two presidents over 16 years, one a Republican and one a Democrat, took our debt and increased it by 300%, quadrupled the nation's debt in 16 years. As we stand here today, my Democratic colleagues point out that Republicans spent too much during the Trump presidency. I agree. Much of that spending I voted against. And I would note last year was an extraordinary year with a pandemic unlike anything any of us have ever seen in our lives. Some nine months into the Joe Biden presidency, the debt is roughly $29 trillion. Senate Democrats, House Democrats, and President Biden, if the spending proposals they have put forth pass, within a 12-month period, they will have spent $9.5 trillion. $9.5 trillion, it is wildly irresponsible. It is reckless. And Washington Democrats are trying to spend that in 12 months.